In this short video, we're going to show you how SalesTrip works together with your finance system to provide full end-to-end -end expense accounting. We're going to use QuickBooks in this example. In this demo, we'll take a look at how data from SalesTrip is automatically transferred to QuickBooks as a bill ready for paying. Our first step is to connect SalesTrip to QuickBooks. As the primary user doing the setup, I already have the SalesTrip administrator permission set required. So let's go to the app launcher and choose connections. Here, I create new and connect to QuickBooks. You'll be prompted to log into QuickBooks and authorize the sales trip application to access your account. As this is a demo, we've already been successfully authorized. Now we've connected sales trip to QuickBooks, we need to set up the mapping. In the mapping, there are two general settings. The first is asking us which accounts payable account in QuickBooks we need to link to. The second is the bill date. This can be the date the report is generated or the maximum date of all the expenses in the report, such as the latest expense date. Next, you need to map every one of the sales trip expense types with a matching expense type in QuickBooks. Where expense types are used to classify the spend your employees incur, account codes help account for these expenses in your company's chart of accounts. So it's important to map these correctly, as using a standard set of data makes it easier for you to track where and what your employees are spending on. Then we save all the settings. Each bill in QuickBooks needs to be linked to a vendor. In our example, employees are configured as vendors to track reimbursements to individual employees, but you might also have a corporate card vendor set up if you run a company card program. For employees that claim expenses, you would have a vendor ID in QuickBooks, which SalesTrip uses to connect the bill to the correct employee. That vendor ID needs to also be set up in Salesforce. For the purposes of this demo, we've already set up the connections and related Salesforce fields. Any expenses in SalesTrip that are in the pending reimbursement stage are automatically sent to the right employee's billing account in QuickBooks. Looking at the connection to QuickBooks, we can see that there's an export E160. If we go to the Related tab, we can see the reports within that export. Let's look at one. Looking at Report R11 on the Related tab, we can see all the expenses that make up this report. Here we can see three expenses, a taxi fare, a train fare and a restaurant bill. Now let's jump over to QuickBooks and show how these expenses are already there. So here we are in QuickBooks. Let's find the expense report we were just looking at, R11. We can see the payee is the employee who claimed the expenses, Kim Smith. Let's open that bill, and here we can see we have our three expenses exactly as they were in sales strip and mapped to the corresponding QuickBooks type. So by connecting your expenses to your accounting system, you're able to automate reconciliation and speed up reimbursement, taking the pain out of expenses management.